In ISO 11612, it is the standard where the behavior of fireproof materials in front of heat and flame is checked. Limited flame spread. Heat resistance at a temperature of 180 degrees Celsius. Contact heat. Radiant heat. Convective heat. Limited flame spread. The materials and seams shall be tested according to Procedure A, A1 code, or Procedure B, A2 code. When tested according to Procedure A, the flame is applied horizontally to the fabric, it shall meet the following requirements. No specimen shall have hole formations. No specimen shall flame at the top or on either side. No specimen shall melt or have flaming or molten debris. The mean value of after flame time shall be less than or equal to 2 seconds. The mean value of after glow time shall be less than or equal to 2 seconds. Seams shall continue to hold the panels of fabric together. Tested according to Procedure B, the flame is applied at a 30 degree angle to the fabric. It shall meet the following requirements. No specimen shall flame at the top or on either side. No specimen shall melt or have flaming or molten debris. The mean value of after flame time shall be no less than or equal to 2 seconds. The mean value of after glow time shall be no less than or equal to 2 seconds. Heat resistance at a temperature of 180 degrees Celsius. All fabrics and hardware used in the garment and or clothing assembly shall not ignite or melt and shall not shrink more than 5%. Sample size is 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. The test time is five minutes. An optional test at a temperature of 260 degrees Celsius can be done as well. Contact the fabric specimen is placed over a heated metal cylinder at 250 degrees Celsius. On the other side of the fabric, there is a calorie meter that measures the temperature rise. The time of the calorie meter to increase 10 degrees Celsius is calculated. Radiant Heat for each material or set of materials, at least three specimens shall be tested. 230 millimeters by 70 millimeters. Test method. The specimen is subjected to an incident heat flux of radiant heat of 20 to 40 kilowatt per square meter. The heat passing through the sample is measured using a calorie meter placed behind the fabric and in contact therewith. The heat radiation will stop when the temperature rise of the calorie meter reaches 10 degrees Kelvin or after 5 minutes. It will be measured the time needed in seconds to produce temperature rise of the calorie meter, which is the time required before a person starts to feel pain from secondary burns caused by radiant heat. Convective Heat for each material or set of materials, at least three specimens shall be tested with size of 140 mm by 140 mm. Test method. The specimen is subjected to a heat flux of 80 kW per square meter. The heat passing through the sample is measured using a calorie meter placed above the fabric and in contact therewith. It will be measured the time needed in seconds to produce a temperature rise of the calorie meter of 24 degrees Celsius. The specimens of multi-layer assemblies must correspond with the usual order of the layers. <laughs>